Malaysia is a beautiful country and I want to visit the two twin towers there. The power of Malaysians. Wow. Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. So for today's video guys, we're having a reaction video. This is not about music. This is about Malaysia. You know guys, this video is from the other side of truth, the name of this channel. And the title of this video is How Malaysia Did the Impossible COVID-19. So, guys, we all know that the whole world is suffering right now. The difficulties of this uh, pandemic, COVID-19. So, I am very interested, guys, about this video. Because, you know, my country right now is suffering also a huge number amount of affected people every day, every day. So guys how malaysia did this impossible covid 19. so guys let's find out uh this video and uh let's start imagine your country is going through a huge political, huge crisis. political crisis you have a new leader and several states have new governments. To add to this, not only is your country facing political crisis, but also economical, health, and defense. Malaysia and is then, a beautiful the country, worst thing and I want to visit the two happens. twin towers the there. The coronavirus hits Malaysia. Malaysia was in some serious trouble. But don't you ever underestimate the power, the power of, of Malaysians. Malaysians. Fifteen ways that Malaysia, ways Malaysia did the impossible. Did. Number wow, fifteen: donations and volunteer organizations. Donations. So many people volunteered, and so many organizations helped out. For example, Imaret provided healthcare workers with food, AC units, and raised over three million ringgit for medical supplies. Donation, helping each other is very important. Number 14, top doctor. Top Dr. Noor Hassam Abdullah has been ranked one of the top doctors in the entire world at fighting the coronavirus. And not only does he present accurate facts, he's able to do it in a way that gathers support and also keeps people calm as he does it. Number 13, MCU the movement one control one order MCU. and the enhanced yeah, movement control order. Important. These things are not easy to pull off and it took so many people and different organizations to work together to have them work. Number 12, injury volunteers. There are so yes. many people that helped out and volunteered and did so many different things like food delivery. Number 11, building, building temporary hospitals. Wow. Malaysia was able to build temporary hospitals very efficiently and quickly. For example, the largest agro park in Asia was able to be built into a hospital in, in three, just days. three days. Number 10, Guys, the Tuvle cluster. Imagine. The Tuvle cluster complied with any order from MOH and they never complained even though they had to wait long hours in the heat. Number 9, banks. Banks lent to the borrowers for six months. Number 8, universities. Universities allowed students to stay for free and provided the food as well. Number seven, stipends. Nearly four million homes received up to 1,600 ringgit. Number six, Your ignoring politics. Opposition leaders important. came together and forgot about politics for the good of Malaysia. Now that is really cool. Number five, protecting the most vulnerable. Well, Malaysia did a great job of protecting those that were most vulnerable. Homeless patient. and poor well, workers. They were put in public calls and provided a tent. Number four, Malaysians returning home. 
Malaysians returning home from overseas were provided a free hotel, free food, and COVID-19 testing during their two-week quarantine. Number three, respect, respect for frontline front workers. Yes. I've never seen so much respect and love for frontline front workers. Is very it was so beautiful to see all the support Malaysians gave to the frontline workers. Number two, fixing the PPE shortage for frontline workers. At the beginning of the crisis, there wasn't enough PPE for all the frontline workers. And so, Malaysians took it onto themselves. For example, a fashion designer realized she had a skill set that could be very valuable. And so she took the initiative to organize an entire team to make PPE. Prisoners yes. make PPE, college students make yes. PPE, even oh. a Malaysian born with no arms Whoa, didn't let that stop her team. from making PPE. And number one, most important, is teamwork. Yes, it didn't matter if you're a celebrity or an average person. It didn't matter your social status. It didn't matter your gender, your religion, your ethnicity. All Malaysians came oh, together for the better guys. of Malaysia. And that's how Malaysia was able to do this the impossible to, to go from a country, country that had three you know? times more cases than any other country in Southeast Asia teamwork. to now be one of the safest countries in the entire world. Wow, I am very impressed. And lastly, I am very I'd like to thank all the places that helped make this video possible. So many of you wrote to me, sent me videos and pictures. And specifically, guys. Pacific Baku, oh who's a motorcycle God. rider, let me take lots of his footage, along with Q Productions, who took beautiful drone shots. And you can this find the links to their channels Malaysia. in the description. So thank ways. you to all of you who helped make this video possible. Oh my god guys, I hope that these 15 ways that uh, Malaysia did will also apply in my country, you know, because my country now is suffering a huge amount every day of affected the uh, coronavirus. So guys, I am so sad, you know, I'm sad, but uh, I hope that uh, this video guys will uh, serve us and uh, inspiration or will serve us an example you know guys what I mean and uh, I am hoping guys that uh, this pandemic um, will uh, overcome soon and uh, I am hoping also that uh, you know, I cry. Sorry, guys. Thank you for watching my videos, guys. The original link of this video is on the description down below. And guys, if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. And also, guys, don't forget to support the channel of The Other Side of Truth. And guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you guys to all my viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much. I know that uh, all of us are praying and hoping that this pandemic will overcome soon so that uh, we will uh, live uh, freely and healthy. So guys, thank you so much. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.